What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because I am literally doing my most highly requested video which is to do another PR unboxing. I have all of these boxes here behind me that we are going to unbox together today. I'm super excited. I got my handy dandy box opener right here. And yeah, we're just going to check out what is new in makeup. You guys know that I am so incredibly grateful for each and every one of these packages that I do get that these companies actually care enough about me and my work to actually send me their product. And of course, I'm not trying to brag. You guys know that if you watch my videos. But yeah, this is literally like the most requested video that I get. You guys seem to really like these, so I will continue doing them as long as you guys want to watch. Be sure to subscribe to my channel right down below before you guys leave today and click that little bell to be notified if you're already subscribed so that you can be notified when I upload on my new videos. And yeah, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get unboxing. All right, so I'm gonna go for this guy first. All right, so this package is from Pretty Vulgar. I'm very excited. I did an Instagram giveaway with them, actually. Um, it just ended, but be sure to follow me on Instagram. It's at Kelly underscore Jane XX. I do a ton of giveaways on my Instagram. And I just did a giveaway with them on Instagram for you guys, so I guess they sent me <laughs> some products for myself, too, so I'm excited. How cute is this box right here? Like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. So when we open it up, oh my gosh, we have so many products right on top, and then we have all these drawers. All right, let's dive into this. Okay, so we have the Pretty Birdie and Early Birdie eyeshadow palette, so I'm gonna take these out and see. The packaging is so cute. All right, so this is the Early Bird palette. This looks so so adorable. Oh my god, I love their like attention to packaging. Like this is so cute. So this definitely looks like a palette up my alley. We have a really pretty in neutrals and they're kind of very like neutrally neutrals. They're not like overly cool toned and also not overly warm toned either. So I do really like that. We have a mix of mattes and shimmers so we can create full eye looks. Let's see, some swatches. Okay, very pigmented. That's what I like to see. And we got a big mirror too. So this is like I said, the Early Bird palette. Then we have the Pretty Birdie palette. So let's see, ooh, we got some pretty colors in here. We got some more bright colors. Again, a mix of mattes and neutrals. The packaging is pretty much the same. It's just the colors that are different. So let's see how these ones swatch. Ooh, that's really, really pretty. Very like foiled. All right, let's try one of the mattes. All right, well they swatch really, really well. These swatches are very, very pigmented. So give this video a thumbs up if you guys want me to use one of these palettes in like an upcoming tutorial where I test new products because they're swatching really well. So pretty impressed. Then we have the feathers. This is their mascara. Oh my God. This packaging though. Wow, okay. This is beautiful packaging. Ooh, and it's like a curved wand. All right, I might have to do like a full face first impressions with their stuff because this is like, I really, really like the packaging. This is the most beautiful mascara that I own, like for sure. Okay, okay. Then we have an eyeliner pencil. Ooh, pretty gold packaging. I don't know what the color on this guy is. Let's see. Oh, it's just black, I think. So let's see how pigmented we have. Ooh, okay, very pigmented. Then we have the Slick to the Story Tinted Lip Balm. Again, super cute packaging. This one has some floral. Ooh, this color though. So I'm assuming this is not gonna be, yeah, it's like a tinted balm. And the balm does have like a little bit of a tint to it, but it's nothing like too crazy. So this would be really good if you're like younger and you just wanna start getting into makeup or something. I love like lip balms. I give them to my younger cousins because I'm like, here, let's start out with a little bit of makeup. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take out the next drawer of this. In here we have the Make Them Blush blush and we have a highlighter. This is the Shimmering Swan highlighter in glimmers of BS. Oh my God, I literally love it. And the packaging, so cute. All right, you guys know we have to swatch the highlighter, you know? I can't, I can't get a highlighter and not swatch it. Ooh, that is so, so pretty. It's right there, oh my gosh. That's stunning, wow. And it was really like silky and smooth too. Then we have a liquid lippy. Ooh, so this one is like a metallic liquid lipstick. This looks really, really pretty. Let's swatch it right there. Ooh, yes, girl. Oh my God. I like this a lot. This is beautiful for the fall and it's not like too deep and dark either. So it's just like very wearable. I like that a lot. Then we have an eyeshadow primer and an eyebrow gel and then two of their matte liquid lipsticks. I love the floral print. So let's see the colors. So we have a nude and then a deep dark red. This nude looks like perfect for me. I love these sort of like mauvey pinky nudes and then a deep dark red that looks very similar to the color of my lips actually. And then in the last year we have their ink gel eyeliner. This was one of the original things that I ever saw from them and this is so, so cool. Look at how cool this is. It looks like one of those old school, like when you use like a feather with like an ink thing, this is what it looks like. Looks like and you just like stick your brush in there this 
is so cool. I'm so excited to use this. I just feel like this is the cutest thing. So thank you so much, Pretty Vulgar. I'm so excited to check this stuff out. And like I said, let me know down below if you guys want a full face first impressions, and I can do that. All right, up next, we'll go for this guy. Ooh, Salam Perfect. You guys know Salam Perfect 614s are my life. So let's see what this is. Oh, we have the 614s on top. Thank you, Salam Perfect. Oh my God, I literally go through the little five pack of these guys like every two weeks. I'm not even kidding. These are my favorite lashes of all time. I got them on right now, so thank you. Ooh, we actually have two pairs. Thank you so much. And then we also have these. These look really pretty. These are the 625s. I don't know that I've ever seen these. It does say new style, so I'm definitely gonna give these a try. Then we have the Demi Wispies, which I also love from them. The 105s, which I have not tried, but does say customer favorite. And the 33s, which these look like your basic, like classic kind of false lash. So these are really good to have on hand as well. All right, gonna go for this side now. All right. Uh, let's open this baby up. This is from Blink, which I believe they make mascara. Ooh, they make more than mascara because I see a palette right there on top. All right, let's see what this is. This is the Blink Shadow Fusion palette, I believe. All right, so this is what the packaging looks like. This is like a very sturdy like packaging, I feel like. It's really nice, actually. And then when you open it up, these are the shades. We have a really big mirror. And it comes with a brush, too, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and dig into one of the mattes right there. Ooh, okay. Now let's do a shimmer. Very nice. Let's do this one, too. Ooh, all right. Pigmented. So this looks really, really nice. This does say something, though, about having nine benefits. So I want to look more into that. Oh, so this is cool. It's saying on the back of the box that there are anti-aging ingredients that help to treat the skin while filling in existing lines for silky smooth coverage. That is pretty cool. And it says it combines the best attributes of liquid, gel, powder, and cream shadows into one life-proof formula. Then we have this right here, which I think one of these is their mascara, because I think that's what they're known for, is yeah, the mascara Amplify, because they were like the first company to come out with tubing mascara, which I actually really want to like try out, because I don't know that I've ever tried like a true tubing mascara. So that be a video too. Ooh, this looks fancy. So this is what the actual mascara tube looks like. And then when you open it up, this is what the applicator little wand looks like. So tubing mascara is different. I'm reading on the back here because it's basically little tiny water resistant tubes, it says, that kind of wrap around your lashes so that they don't run, smudge, clump, or flake. So this is actually supposed to last in your lashes like quite a few days. Like I could put it on and then I could sleep with it on my lashes and everything else. So that's actually pretty cool. But then when you do want to take it off, it says just use a combination of lots of warm water and gentle pressure from your fingertips or a cloth and the tubes will slide off effortlessly. No makeup remover required. So that is actually really cool. So it's like completely waterproof and supposed to be like a lot longer that you can actually wear it on your eyes. So I feel like I'm definitely gonna give this a try. That might be a cool video. Then we also have the lash primer and then we have the eyebrow mousse as well. I wanna check this guy out. So this is the blonde eyebrow mousse. Ooh, perfect. Pretty cool. And this one is not supposed to fade, run, or smudge either. Thank you, Blink. All right, over here we have Glam Glow. All right, so let's see what we got in here. It looks like we have, ooh, some cleansers and a sheet mask. I didn't even know they had sheet masks. Oh, wow, cool. So this is the Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Oxen Oxygenating, is that a word? Deep Cleanse Mask. All right, well, I love sheet masks and I like the Glam Glow like the regular mask, so definitely gonna try that. And then we have, I think a cleanser from them. So this is a Glam, Glam Glow Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser. And this is the Glam Glow Galactic Cleanse Hydrating Jelly Balm Cleanser. And this one at the top says Face Makeup Remover. So I might try this out tonight. It's pretty cool. Oh, and it says right here on the box, the Galactic Cleanse is supposed to be for normal to dry skin. The Super Cleanse, normal to oily and then the bubble sheet mask for all skin types. So pretty much encompasses everybody. Up next we have this big box and this is from Curel slash Jergens. So I don't know which one. Ooh, we got a big box from Jergens in here. Let's see. All right, so this is what the box looks like. Let's see what is inside. Oh my God. Oh, this is cute. So we have the new Jergens Nourishing Honey Dry Skin Moisturizer. You guys know I have dry skin, so I'm excited to try this out. And then we have like a little thing of honey and then like a little teacup with tea. This is so cute. Thank you, Jergens. And I am definitely gonna use this when we're going into the winter months. Girl, I need it. All right, let's go in with this guy right here. This is from e.l.f. Let's see what we got. e.l.f. has come out with so many new products recently. I can't even keep up with it, but I'm like, I need to try all of them. Ooh, 
this is not even a makeup product. I was thinking it was gonna be like some of their new makeup. Okay, so this is the new massaging facial cleanser device. Man, e.l.f. is coming out with so much. This is awesome to see like such a cool company like grow so much because they always have kept their prices down really low, but they're growing so much and I think that's awesome. All right, so this seems pretty cool. This is what it is right here. Let's open it up. So it says vibrations cleanse and exfoliate skin for a smooth, radiant looking complexion. Wow, all right, this is pretty cool. So I guess you just like apply your like cleanse or whatever to here and then this probably needs batteries, which I don't have, but I can go get them, yeah, because it's not turning on right now. Um, but then I guess this like part up here like kind of vibrates and then you work it on to your skin. I actually have one of these like little like mitt things from Dermalogica, but it's not like a motorized one, like you just put it on your hand and I really like it because I feel like it really works the product into your skin. So this one with the vibrations might be even better. Um, so that's pretty cool. I have to go get like batteries and make this work, but thank you. Then we have some of their face products. We have the e.l.f. Daily Face Cleanser. I actually really haven't tried that many of their face products, although I did try one and I did really like it and I was like very impressed. So I might give a lot of these a try. This is the Prep and Hydrate Balm. Ooh, the Hydrating Water Essence. What is this? Let's take this out. A lightweight water-based lotion that hydrates for healthy glowing skin. Oh, for some reason I thought it was gonna be like a spray. Oh, it does look like it's a spray. I don't know. <laughs> this is like, why is it a lotion? Is it spray? Oh, maybe it's a tone. Oh yeah, it's a toner. Gotcha, okay. Cause a lot of toners can be super drying. So I like that this one says hydrating water essence. Like I feel like I'll actually try this. So hopefully it won't dry the crap out of my skin. We have the clarifying charcoal bubble mask, the illuminating moisturizer, ooh, and the nourishing night cream. All right, I'm definitely gonna have to give like all of these a try. I'm really excited. Thank you, Elf. If you guys would only see the mess, that's over here right now with all the boxes and the packaging materials. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you would unsubscribe. All right, let's go ahead and just finish off this side. This guy is from Maybelline. Alrighty, so it says Halloween Unmasked. I thought this was gonna be the new Gigi collection. I was gonna be really excited, but I'm still excited for this because Halloween, you know. Alrighty, so let's see. Ooh, it's kind of hard to open. So this is what it looks on the inside. This is so cute. Oh my God, more candy. So many brands are sending candy and I'm like, because I eat the candy. Like, I love candy. I can't just throw it out. Oh, this is actually like the most adorable thing I think I've ever seen. Oh my God, look at this little purse. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. This is so cute. All right, so we have some of their lasting drama eyeliners. These are really good. They're super, super pigmented. And then we have <gasps> some candy. Then we have one of their Big Shot mascaras. A bunch of cool kind of funky colors. These are their single shadows. These are really big actually. Like for single shadows, I feel like this would last you your whole life. That's actually really nice. Wow. These are their expert wear single shadows. And we have some lippies. I don't know what these are. Ooh, whoa, wait, one of them I think is white. Let's see. This would be really good for a lot of Halloween tutorials. Wow, it really is. Let's swatch it. Oh my God. Wow, okay, like for a skeleton or something, this would come so much in handy rather than having to get like actual like face paint and putting it on your lips. Good idea, Maybelline. Then we have a nude one in Nude Thrill. Ooh, this one looks nice too, let's watch that. Ooh, yes, oh my God, that is like my perfect color, okay. I'm like putting this to the side, I'm like, okay, I need to put this on later. Then we have Orange Danger. Ooh see what this guy looks like. Ooh, this is pretty. I love that. I love these kind of colors for the summer. Obviously, I know we're like going into the winter, but I mean, I'll still rock it. Then we have some crazier colors. So we have Midnight Blue. I don't know about this. <laughs> I mean, I feel like some people could rock this. Me, maybe not. Maybe on Halloween if I was like being a smurf or something. And then we have this last one, which is in Pitch Black. So let's see how Pitch Black this is. Oh my God. It's like actually really black. Okay, thank you so much, Maybelline. Alrighty, let's jump over here. Oh my God, that almost just fell. Did you guys see that? This next lock we have is from Origins. Wait, so I have to tell you guys a funny, funny story. This just has to do with like, I guess, PR. So in my building, it was like new construction. So when I first started living here, a lot of stuff wasn't basically done yet. 
Um, and one of the things that literally recently just got done, even though I've already lived here for like almost a year, was the actual like buzzer system. So like when somebody is outside, they can buzz my apartment. So for a lot of PR boxes, like when you get them, you have to sign for them because the companies want to make sure that they're getting to the right person. But since like the UPS or the FedEx guy like couldn't buzz because it didn't work, they would always just leave me a little thing on the door and then I would have to go to like the actual like FedEx or UPS facility and sign for it there and then I could pick it up because I could basically not get stuff delivered to my apartment that I needed to sign for because they could never get to me. So recently it just started working and like literally two days ago I like met with the FedEx guy I'm just gonna open this while I'm telling you guys the story. Like he rang the thing and then I went downstairs like to the lobby to pick up the package and to like sign for it and he was like, you get so much stuff. And I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like it was literally so embarrassing because I think he thinks that I'm like a shopaholic or something because he was literally like, I feel like I know you because I'm here like every day sending you stuff and I was like, yeah. Super awkward and he definitely thinks that I'm insane with like a serious, makeup purchasing problem. All right, so inside we have a little origin box. All right, let's see what's in here. So it says this is their plant scription serum. Ooh. Oh wow, this is cool. So it's like a serum called plant scription instead of prescription. This is really cool. And it says you can apply it AM and PM. Hmm. Next we have this guy from Loving Tan. I always know when it's Loving Tan because it comes like DHL because they're based in Australia. So I'm always like, ah! Loving tan whenever the DHL guy comes. <gasps> oh my god. It says happy Halloween, Kelly, Steve, and Penelope from Joe and the Loving Tan team. Oh my god, this is so cute. So we have a little toy for Penelope. She is gonna go crazy over this. Thank you guys so much. Oh my god, it literally just like warms my heart when like brands recognize like other members of our family and stuff. Like that's that was so sweet of them. Thank you guys so much. You would literally love this. Oh my god, now we have sweatshirts for Steven and I. How cute is this? Oh my god, so this one for Steven says, Kelly got me shook, and then I have this like pink one that says, Steve got me shook. Oh my god, thank you guys so much. And these feel so nice too, like thick, nice quality crew neck sweatshirts. Thank you so much. And then the best, of course, for last, we have actual Loving Tan stuff, yes! Oh yes, they sent me the Ultra Dark, which is my absolute favorite. Love it, love it, thank you. Ooh, and then we also have the Ultra Dark Bronze Shimmer Luminous Cream. Two more applicator mitts and some Lint Chocolate Balls. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Up next we have a Violet Voss. And you know what, I actually saw today on Instagram that Violet Voss is coming to Sephora, which I'm so excited about, because I love their eyeshadow ballots, but now you can actually like just get them at Sephora and then have an order online, so I think that's pretty cool. Alrighty, so it looks like they have a new eyeshadow palette. This is the Rainbow. I like the packaging, very pretty. All right, so this is what the outward packaging looks like, and then we open, it. oh my god, these are huge, wow. These are really big shadows. Very pigmented. Wow, I can't get over the pan size. They're huge, like this would be enough to last you basically forever. All right, we got two more. This guy is from It Cosmetics. Let's see, what's in that? They always have these super cute boxes with the little bow. So let's see what we have in here. <gasps> Oh my god, so exciting. This is the A Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. I think they sent me like all the shades because I have like a bunch of them here. Oh, this is my favorite ever CC cream. I use this all the time. Oh, so this is cool. It's the It CC Challenge. So basically, you take a makeup free selfie and then a selfie wearing the CC Plus Cream. Post your before and after on social media using the hashtag ItCCChallenge. And for every single post, It Cosmetics is going to donate $1 to the Look Good, Feel Better, Helping Women with Cancer Foundation. That is so amazing. That's really cool. So, this is like basically an example how you guys can see it's like the before and after. So, thank you so much, It Cosmetics. All right, we got the last guy right here, and this is from Becca. I think this is like their new winter collection, which I'll be really excited if it is because that looks so pretty. Ooh, I think it is. Yay! All right, so we have this pretty box. I feel like this box is beautiful. I could like use this for Christmas gifts. Ooh, so this is what we have inside. We have an eye lights palette, which I don't think I've ever tried any Becca eyeshadows. So that's really cool. And then we have the Ski Glow Face Palette. All right, so let's start with the Glow Face Palette because I really love Becca's like face products. I always think that they're amazing. Like their highlights and stuff. Ooh, this is pretty packaging too. So this is what the palette looks like. Very pretty like mirrored packaging. 
Ooh, then we have this stunning. I really like the mirror packaging. I hope that I'm not like blinding you guys with the light. Um, but this looks beautiful. We have some different highlights. Yes, please. Ooh, ooh, this one is like pure white. Oh my God, that might be really, really nice. If you have very fair skin, you might love that. And I will probably use that to mix with highlights that are like a little too dark. I mean, like maybe if I mix these two together, I could make one that would work because this one would be a little too dark. I'd probably use it as a blush topper, but let's see, are these new? So I think some of them might be new because Opal is in here, which I know they already have. But then there's one, the white one is called Icicle. I don't think they have that. And then Winter Berry, which is the blush. I believe is new, which is this blush right here. I like this palette, I think it's really pretty. And I think this would be a really nice gift for the holidays too. Alrighty, now let's check out the eye palette. This is the Eye Lights palette. Again, never tried an eyeshadow from Becca. So this one is like gold mirrored. Ooh, these look actually really pretty. And this is a huge mirror. There's not that many shades. I thought there was gonna be like more shades inside based on the size of the packaging, but they are really, really pretty like neutral shades. We got this nice highlight in the middle there. These are all shimmers though, so we don't have any mattes. You guys know I like when we have mattes and palettes to kind of work with, but they're swatching really pretty. And then we have all of the shade names on the back. So thank you, Becca. All right, you guys, so that is it for my PR unboxing. I hope that you guys did enjoy. If you did, let me know down below in the comments and I will definitely be sure to make more of these. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you very soon in my next video.